Crafting changes. A crossout video by Dangerously Incompetent. Update 12.17 has brought some changes to crafting, most notably the user interface, which I'm still getting used to, but I think I like it. I like it more because it's got a nice another menu for all the stuff you might want to craft so you can see what's on your workbenches that you've already crafted that's sitting there but you haven't moved it to fill up your um storage just yet you're just storing it there on the work workbench for the moment and uh, there's your work pieces i still got quite a few of them i'm saving them for a rainy day and then you can see what you can make on your battle pass and then what you can't make on your battle pass you can see by clicking that little drop down and now you can get to the recipes and stuff so so helpful and then an event and then there's badge exchange and then there's your workbenches as before there's another change which is not immediately obvious and has nothing to do with this number here unlike last time last update where they sneakily try to increase the cost of the rare workbench from three to six coins until somebody kicked up a fuss hello see my video link in the description below um, so it's nothing like that only it is like that because like that they didn't announce in the update notes that they've reduced the crafting times I haven't increased reduced that, that's nice uh, instead of 15 minutes to craft a sledgehammer now it only takes five and for specials it only takes an hour instead of two hours and only takes four hours for an epic instead of eight hours and eight hours for a legendary instead of 20 so you can now craft a pair of hammer falls for yourself uh, in under a day lovely crafting times have been made shorter hooray that totally artificial delay has been reduced because <laughs> remember the crafting times are just there to add friction to slow your progress through the game in the hope that you'll speed it up by going to the shop and buying something uh-huh uh -huh. uh so yeah and but shorten they've shortened the times people players are gonna like that you'd think Tarjem would tell people hey guys we've shortened the crafting times no need to thank us we're just these guys you know hey <laughs> they'll never notice that we've made things worse as well <laughs> <laughs> because they have because where before this update you could craft you know a hammer fall and a hermes and and a boom and a big g all at the same time you know you could for every rarity on a, a faction workbench you could craft something now you can only craft one thing on a workbench at a time no matter what it's rarity so if we go to uh founders we are on crafting a summator and I got summator in stock so maybe I want to make a a trigger I've got all the parts I've got the money it's only going to take four hours instead of eight right let's gang about the crafting button has been changed it looks the same apart from the word is different oh boost see the workbench is busy so I can't make a trigger at the same time I'm making a summator even if though I've got all the, all the other parts whereas before we could and it's a boost button I haven't pressed that boost button yet but I'm I'm wondering whether it's got confirmation on the end of it so they have made things worse well overall it probably crafting has been sped up but only if you're only if you're able to you know retrieve the completed parts and then start the next part being crafted in a timely fashion and it's it's more quicker for the legendaries because it's a big change from 20 hours to eight hours isn't it um but it sucks to be a filthy casual say that you, you can only log on once a day so you can only set one thing going and then it's you know time to put the kids to bed so yeah bit of a mixed bag on those two changes well <laughs> shorter hours shorter crafting time that's nice only one thing being crafted per faction bet workbench that's a nasty thing don't like that at all while we're on the subject of sneaky boost buttons watch out for the context menus if you right click on a part you get the context menu uh, as we did before this update you know parameters and then go to the trading uh, page and then find it, find it in the pack so you can buy it out of the shop all that stuff we're used to that that's fine okay but if you right click 
for the context menu on a part that's being crafted, suddenly it's not parameters under your uh, cursor, so you left click immediately, it's a boost button. So, and there's, and there's no confirmation pop up after you click this button. You click it, bang, it's all gone. There's your, your money's gone, your part's ready, and you might not have wanted to do that. I mean, four coins is not a lot, but what if you're crafting a legendary? That might be 200 coins down the pan. <laughs> I do not like that at all. And and thank you to uh, one of my Discordians for pointing that one out to me. Uh, now that's either really sloppy user interface desi design because you've taken a menu that we're used to. Everyone's used to that. Everyone's played it because it's the same as before. And it's the same here for this one and then changed it <laughs> um, for for because of its context well it's it sh you can have the retrieve and the boost button but they should be down at the bottom they shouldn't be at the top where we're expecting parameters they should be down the bottom retrieve button should be here the, the boost button should be here and so it's either really sloppy user interface design or it's deliberately sneaky in order to catch us out. You know, you <laughs> you click the boost button, there goes you know, 200 coins. If it was a legendary with eight hours to go on it, there's 200 coins, coins down the pan. Ah! Because most people don't run around with money <laughs> in their coin in their account, much coin in their account. I mean, I don't <laughs> actually. It's rare that I've got <laughs> thousands. Um, and if you're out sh suddenly short of money, where do you go to get some more? You go to the shop. So it might just be it's either sloppy design or it's a sneaky way to get us to spend more in the shop. So I do not like that one little bit. That is actually sloppy or disgusting. <laughs> Leaving aside Boris the Wonder Developer's efforts, there's another change I want to mention because I like it <laughs> and I get to end the video on a positive note for a change. That's nice, isn't it? So say you're looking at the battle pass and you're planning ahead because you want to make a mortar at some point and you go, oh, I haven't got these parts. So there's that part. And then you go over here and you go, oh, add to favorites. Click, yep. And what else would I needed? Uh, what else do I need? I need one of them. So I'll put that up there and, and you can go down the nest as well. Oh, I need some of them. Do I have them in? No, I need one of them. And uh, where's it going? There. And I need one of them and so on. Add them all to your favourites as a little reminder to yourself because now we have an extra uh, option on the <laughs> vertical menu favourites. So those, so you can, a little reminder that you want to craft all of those, which is handy and I like that. So that's a Good change. Well done, Tarjim. And that's it for this video. Uh, I've been useful. Like, subscribe, etc, etc. And uh, I'll see you around next video.